T-minus 60 seconds and counting. T-minus 50 seconds and counting. And we are transferring to orbiter in internal power at this time. Columbia is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up for a go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's, Columbia's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20. T minus 15 seconds. 12. 10. 9. 8. 7. We have a go for main engine start. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. And liftoff, the liftoff of the Space Shuttle Columbia, catapulting scientific knowledge through microgravity research. Houston now controlling Columbia underway on its 18th trip to space. on Columbia now back at full throttle. Columbia is now airborne for one and a half minutes. It's burned almost two and a quarter million pounds of propellant already, weighing less than half of what it did at launch. Three main engines on Columbia working well at full throttle. Good hydraulic systems, good electrical systems. Altitude now 100,000 feet, 14 miles downrange from the launch pad. Columbia traveling 2,800 miles per hour. Flight controllers are standing by for burnout in Separation of the twin solid rocket first stage, upcoming in just about eight seconds. Good solid rocket booster separation is confirmed. Columbia now on its three main engines, second stage. Altitude 185,000 feet, 38 nautical miles downrange from the launch pad. Columbia traveling at 3,500 miles per hour, continuing in a steep climb. Columbia, performance nominal. Performance nominal. That call to the spacecraft indicates that performance of the first stage solid rockets was just as planned. Columbia, two engine Ben Guerrier. Two engine Ben. And I Columbia can now perform an emergency transatlantic landing at Ben Gurion, Morocco, if required. All systems continue to be go. Altitude 250,000 feet, downrange from Kennedy Space Center, about 65 nautical miles.